And salamat sa inyong panonood. Don Ross working alongside Bo Belga. And at court side, we have Kayla Fable. Mapua. Trying to get their eighth win of the season. Escanes. Garcia. Short. Ochavo. Wow. Power move. Bagay blocked. Kinal for three. Escames taps it to Garcia. Binura ni Ochavo do si Garcia. Pass break na yun. Kaya alam na mintis na yung floater niya. Ubilia. Sumubo ulit. Oh! Three. Another one. Uh -huh. Chris Ubilia second. Three-pointer into collegiate level. Okay, balikan muna natin si Kayla Fable. Losing once is a learning experience, but losing twice is simply unacceptable for the Generals. For our Player of the Week, King Gertiza, he believes that the Generals win games because of two things. Pagsisikap at puso. Now that he has adjusted to his role as captain, he acknowledges that he is a more mature version of himself this time around. Sabi nga niya sa akin, ang laki ng pinagbago ko as a player at dahil yun sa expectation sa akin bilang leader ng team. And just to add some trivia about King, if you notice Anton and Bo, he always has a red rosary with him during game day. From the dugout to the court, he brings this rosary with him not only as his lucky charm, but as a manifestation of what he plays for and the reason behind his success as a player. All for now, back to you, Anton and Bo. Thank you very much, Kayla, for that bit of trivia right there from one of our star players in the league, King Gurtiza. Pak Sanhan sneaks that one up and in. Kayod, kayod na kinakayod na itong EAC. Kanina, ang ganda nung drop pass ito ni Gurtisa para dito kay Bakot. Kaya lang nag-untis. Ito naman si Hubilla. Wow! Dire-direcho lang. Nakita niyang kakapasok lang ito ni Bakot. Inatake niya agad. Ito naman. Off the screen. Nalibre itong si Nico Kinal. Pasok. 10-point lead, or rather 10 points for Kinal, 6-point lead for Mapua. Escamis for three, right in the face of his former teammate Harvey Pagsanhan. Oh, but Ryan is on the floor in pain. Mapua coaching staff is at... Inaano nila na wala pang two shots yun. Wala pang two shots. They're asking for a review. There's a review on the last ball play. All teams are advised and so proper about Sikoro. Ryan is motioning that he was chopped. In the midsection. Mm -hmm. So let's see. This is just a. Let me know. Coaches, na pagka ba box out ka, paramdam mo yung box out mo. Parang ganun lang. Hindi naman totally uh, strong hit. Uh-huh. One review. Foul on number six, Joaquin Garcia. That's his fourth personal foul. Two team fouls for Mapuo Cardinals. Two free throws for King Gurtiza. So Gurtiza will shoot these two free throws. 
Very quiet na para dito kay King Gortiza. And the good news is, may oras pa. He still uh -oh. has 7 minutes and 42 seconds to turn things around. But these aren't the usual numbers for EAC's Gurtiza. JJ Rico. And siya naman yung talagang inaasahan dito ni Coach Gerson to provide offensive ano, on their offense para dito kay King Gurtiza. Recto against Jacob. Bubilia asking for it. Bubilia, will he shoot another one? Crossover by Bubilia. Garcia, mula sa kanto. Can't put it down. Escamis. May naman si Gurtiza, nakabantay sa kanya. Escamis. Escamis. Stepping back from way out. Mm -hmm. In line yung tira na yun. Medyo sa kaliwa lang. And Pagsanhan is fouled by Escamis. The two former teammates colliding again. Mm -hmm. Good call by the ref. Clint is still moving. Kaya blocky pa lang. Foul on number, number zero, Clint Escamis. His first personal foul. The offensive shot. When they were teammates with the Red Warriors, Pagsan Han was the top scorer and Escamis was the main point guard. Now they're on opposite sides of the spectrum here in the NCAA. But, syempre, may pinagsamahan ng dalawang yan. They're like brothers, Escamis and Pagsan Han. Kaya alam niyan, alam na din naman itong dalawang to kung paano kasi maglaro yung isa't isa eh. Kaya kanina, nung nagbabantayan, may friendly trash talk. Oo. Oh. <laughs> ano Actually, si, si Pagsanghan na nagbaboxing naman kanina kay oh. King sa, sa start ng third quarter natin. Exactly. Diba? Uy! Wala mapuntahan doon si Hubilia. Uh -huh. Na-pressure ni Bakod si Hubilia. Eto, kinal. Wala. Rebound kay Bakod. Pagsanahan, Gurtiza, libre. Ayan na! Gurtiza! Gurtiza pointing to the heavens. Kaya yan na may napasigaw si Gurtiza doon. Kanina ko pa sinusubukan. Ngayon lang. Uy! Clint knows he's gonna get the calls. Kaya makamarunong siya talagang umun eh. Kaya niyang diskartihan eh. Na ma ma alam mo yun? Mai, mai, anu sa referee nanti na ref call tu. Si Kurti sana na dead deny. Although there's a switch here. Recto, Concepcion, he's back. Bubilia, attack eh. Concepcion, oh, dua. Sorry, miss for Concepcion. Oh, nandu tu tu kan eh. Kurti sa all the way. Tulad nga ng sabi natin, he has 7 minutes kanina, 7 minutes and 42 to take charge. And ito, pinakikitaan tayo ni King Gortiza. Time now for a brand new collection of awesome plays that we've gathered from the last couple of game days in the first round of NCAA Season 100 Men's Basketball. Pampagising muna sa number 10. Torres, Morales, Liwag with a jam! Here's Alan Liwag with a jam. Ending up with a Liwag jam. Meron pang mas matindi dyan sa number 9. Inside pa, Santos! Dogtas. Si Kevin Santos. Lakasan mo pa, idol! Drops the hammer! Here's another dunk at number 8. Antonio Eusebio climbs the ladder for the putback slam. King Gortiza, our NCAA Power Player of the Week, coming alive here in the fourth quarter when it matters the most para sa kanyang kubunan. 12 points agad para kay King Gortiza and he is pumped up. Kanina niya pa hinahanap yung... Yung alam mo yun, yung window na yun sa atake niya eh. Kaya lang, Mapu was doing a, a good job clagging the lane para dito kay Gurtiza. 
Urpiza denying Escamis. Escamis on the move. Escamis throws it out. Recto. Mangubat. Line drive. Oh. Ice cold. Uh -huh. Buti na lang nakita siya doon ni JC Recto. Titira na sana ni JC Recto yun doon sa may side na yun eh. Pero nakita niya si Mangubat has a better position on top. Kaya uh, ibinigay niya doon. Bitin yung tres puntos na attempt nitong si King Gortiza Escamis. Inside pass. Isa pa. Mangubat. Ito yung titira na sana ni JC Recto doon. Eh. Kaya lang nakita niya si Magubat. Magubat has a better... Better look sa taas. Pina-challenge ni Yam. Ni Yam Concepcion yung last play na yun. Last out of bounds. Ayun niya. Kaya naman talagang sinisenyas niya kila Coach Randy and Coach Yong na i-challenge niyo, Coach. And binigay sa Mapua. It was Mako Dulas who tapped the ball last. Kaya ang hirap rin no, para sa coach na pag nakita mo na yung player mo, gumagawa. Oh, <laughs> Mapamaisip ka din eh. Di ba? Eh, talaga naman kung disididong disidido yung player mo. Pagbigyan mo. Recto. Uy, ganda ng in intention niya doon. I-drop pass dito kay Concepcion. Kaya lang tumama sa legs. Jacob, nakawala. Jacob, uncontested at the rim. A defensive breakdown by Mapua. Turn, turning the ball over on the other side and then miscommunication on defense on the other side. Kaya naman, balik sa dalawa ang limang na mapuwa. Cuenco's turn now. Cuenco, pull up. Short. Concepcion again. Oh! Nabitawan! Uh -huh. Sayang! Nakuha na eh! Uh -huh. Ito yung atake ni Jacob. Ito, very seldom din natin makita itong player na to. But ngayon, may minutes na, may minutes na binibigay sa kanya. Itong si Coach Gerson. Pansanhan gives it to the hot hands of King Gurtiza. Gurtiza to Oftana. Pansanhan libre. Harvey in ball. Libre ng libre. Hindi sana yung libre ng libre itong si Pansanhan. Pansanhan one. 4-4 from beyond the arc. 16 points today to lead all EAC players in scoring. Cuenco. Mm -hmm. 13 on the shot clock. Escamis is in the corner. Concepcion gives it to Escamis from the corner. Yep. And it's EAC basketball. Gurtiza working. We are tied. Good recognition by Nico Kinal. Nakita niyang tumatakbo itong si King Gurtiza. Kaya naman ibinigay niya. Oh boy. Gurtiza. This is our ninth deadlock para dito sa ball game natin. 23 points for Clint Escamis and... That's going to be a foul uh -huh. on Kinal. Fourteen points now para kay King Gurtiza. Kanina, five lang yan. He already have nine here. Dito sa alone. Nine alone here sa ating fourth quarter para dito kay King Gurtiza. Obilia. Likes this matchup against Oftana. It's a clear out for Chris Hubilia. 
Auch danach du kurze Chance. Wow. Akala mo maganda na yung depensa ni Octana doon dahil medyo na out of balance itong si Ubilla pero nahanap niya si Concepcion na kumakat doon sa gitna. Gurtiza against Ubilla. Gurtiza, turn around, fade away. Bagsak si Jacob, bagsak si Concepcion. If this is a foul on against Concepcion, it's done for today. And that's going to be huge because Concepcion, all of the 50-50 balls, he oh. is there. Oh. And he just scored the basket to give the lead back to Mapua. Ayun na nga. Ayun na nga. And they are reviewing this last play. Dahil they feel there's something. Well, Concepcion feels that he was pulled. Oh, you do see the sadness now. He na tak he ni ilan daw siya. Ito ni Jacob. Yun ang sinasabi niyo kay Lakos Randy, pati kay Coach Chito, na he na tak daw siya daw. Last one. It was a regular box out. Parang kung baga positioning lang silang dalawa. Doon. So, after a good game para dito kay... Oh! In-upgrade ni Leon. Okay. Wow. An upgrade nila into an Foul call on like number foul. 34, uh -huh. Young Concepcion has been upgraded into unsportsmanlike foul under criteria number two for excessive hard contact. Young Concepcion, five fouls. Wow. Well, yung sinabi mo kanina, Bo, na masusubukan yung bench ng Mapua. Well, makikita na natin dito. Ito na ang sinasabi natin kanina. Pati nga, ang kagandahan dito sa Mapua na to, itong si JC Recto, they can convert him into a power forward. And then, Hubilio will play the five spot. Mangubat, Cuenco, and this Camis will play the backcourt ano nila. So, they're still good. They're still good, actually. But you still have the Ryan, you have your mate, you have a, you still have a Gimeni dun sa sa ano nila sa bench nila. Lucero, their best free throw shooter, has checked in. Lucero shooting 72.7 percent this season. Makes the first. This is for the tie. Ayun naman. And it's EAC ball. Kaya naman pala siya ipinasok ni Coach Gerson. Lucero kontra Manguban. Gurtiza. With Ubilia on him. Paksanhan. Paksanhan could not give the lead to EAC. And Cuenco is down. Ayun lang. And Coach Randy is saying that he saw an elbow. Uh -huh. There's a review on the last sequence of play. All players inside the court, please proceed in front of your respective benches. So interesting situation here. There's a stoppage of play. Oh, oh. But we didn't notice a foul called. Oh! Wow. Wow. Review. 
On Sportsman Like Bell on number 71, Aldeo Lucero. Ano so, on their criteria, diba, number two, for foul excessive na hard contact caused by a player in What's an effort to play the ball the or an opponent. Diba? Yeah, it's his third so, personal foul. Apparently, tinawagan ng unsportsmanlike foul si Lucero. Oh. oh. Pero they didn't call anything. Nakita lang nilang bumagsak itong si Cuenco dito sa, sa front court ng... sa front court ng Mapua. And then they suddenly stop the play. Mapua Cardinals basketball. Hindi rin kasi kita nung ating baseline referee yung yep. nagawa ni Lucero doon, kaya hindi siya nakatawag. It looked like he had Cuenco on a semi-headlock. It, it looks worse when you see it on the replay. Oo, oh, actually. Kasi yung braso ni Lucero nasa leeg. Eh. Pero hindi nila... 14 hindi nila ma hindi, hindi makita ng baseline referee natin yung nangyari doon kaya hindi niya natawagan. So, Cuenco goes one for two. Escamis gets the ball to Chris Hubilia in the post. Hubilia up and under. Multiple pivots. Paksanhan with a board. 16 points a day for Harvey Paksanhan. Paksanhan will head to the line for two. Oh boy, we could be in for another wild finish in this matchup between AAC and Mapua. And yun naman yung ini-expect natin dahil nga both teams really needed to win. For Mapua, they need to be to stay in the number number two spot behind CSB. Ito namang EAC. Kailangan nila din nila yung panalo dahil nanalo kanina yung LPU. LPU. And yun yung makakapwestuhan nila eh. LPU, Letran, and itong EAC. So, kailangan kailangan manalo ng EAC. And nilista na ng ating tropa dito na ito na raw yung pang 11th deadlock natin sa ball game. Basing basing ngayon si Mr. J.R. Apostol. <laughs> Usual ito ano lang eh. Bihira magsulat ng deadlock tsaka ng lead change eh. Pero dito 16 lead change and 11 deadlock na tayo sa ball game natin. Approaching the final two minutes. Tabla po tayo. 77 all. Cuenco. Drop pass. Oh! Nagbitawa ni Villa. It's a three second three violation. Oh my. Wow! Mag-isa si Hubilia doon on the drop pass by Cuenco. Ayun no? Ay! Kuhanin mo muna yung bola before ka mag-isip ng tira. Costly turnover right there. EAC with a chance to take the lead. Gortiza wants it. Calling for a pick. Gortiza, the switch comes. Gortiza contra Hubilia. Of Tana. From the free throw line. And Mangubat comes up with a rebound. Escamis. Oh! Gortiza. No! Cuenco gets the board. Uh -huh. Escam is uncharacteristically throwing the ball straight into the hands of a defender. Uh huh. Hinihingi kasi ni JC Recto. He was supposed to be slowing it down. Oh! What a move by Cyrus Cuenco. It was to be slow, slowing it down for para dito kay Glenn. Ito naman yung atake ni JC Recto. Galing niya mag ano eh, yung between the legs, tas ililipat ng atake, no? Ililipat ng counter. Cyrus Cuenco has played 28 minutes. Now 12 points for him. Meron pa siyang 6 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 
actually three assists and two steals. Mm -hmm. Complete package para dito kay Cyrus Cuenco. Nahawa kay Kings Camus. Eh. Balik ang lamang sa Mapua. EEC calls a timeout. Oh, baka hindi ulit na bumira kasi kanina pa niya hinahanap yung teammates niya. Pero bigla siya nag-create ng move na may napaagad na pang sidestep with the finish. Wow, ang galing. Napaagad na nung sidestep na yun. And that's why they have this lead, 12-8. Justin Sanchez, oh, somehow gets the reverse. Plus one for Sanchez. And again, this is a mature Justin. So just like what happened in the first round meeting between these two teams, it looks like it's going to go down to the wire. There's Father Vic Calvo. Mancom rep for Colegio de San Juan de Letran. And there's Nax Castellano. Mancom rep for the College of St. Benild. Yan yung ating mga bosses. And Dr. Lorenzo Lorenzo of Emilio Aguinaldo oh, College. Emilians, especially their pep squad. Very loud here. Lucero. For the tie. No! Ooh. And Patsanan touches it last. Actually, magandang atake ni Lucero doon. Kaya lang masyadong mataas. Good challenge din para dito kay Hubilia. Good challenge without fouling. Oh. So now Mapua calls a timeout. In the paint. These guys are the smallest players on the floor, but they thrive in the paint in the land of the Giants. And one of the reasons para masabi natin yung mga get is because they have the biggest heart. And yan yung talagang nagmamatter. Now, San Pedro is coming off a loss. I have a feeling hindi sila ganun kalalaki. Pero dun pa lang makikita mo na na hindi yung... In their last game, combined... So, coming off this timeout, this is a Mapua timeout. Timeout check, meron pang isa ang Mapua. And EAC also has one timeout left. Now, the question here is, sino ang titira? Who did Coach Randy draw the play for? Mm -hmm. Yun ang tanong dito. Kasi pwede kay Clean, pwede kay Cuenco, pwede rin kay Recto. Pwede rin kay Hubilia. Oh, pumaposte madalas si Hubilia oh. ngayon. And kanina, he was successful attacking galing dito sa ibabaw eh. So, eto. Escamis. Gets the ball. Ay, clean. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Escamis to Hubilia. Hubilia swings it. Manguba for three. In and out. Pagsanhan with the board. Ayun lang. And they're in the penalty. Uh -huh. Talking about Mapua. Oh boy. Two free throws oh. para dito kay Hakob. Sino ba yung tinulak doon? At bakit nasa gitna itong si King Gortisha? <laughs> Hindi naman, siya yung, <laughs> hindi naman siya yung pinal. Gusto siya yung mag-pre-throw. <laughs> Baka sakali lang makalos. <laughs> Kaya naman sinusumbong, sinusumbong na mabuwa eh. Hindi naman siya yung pinal eh. Now here's the problem for EAC. Jacob is not a good free-throw shooter. Three out of nine. 
Huwag mo sabihin oh. Ano eh, ito yung reverse jinx oh, po. Diba? <laughs> This is the commentator's reverse jinx. Uh-huh. Pag sinasabi ko maganda yung percentage, nagmimintes. Ito naman, masama percentage. Nasoot niya yung una. Two for two. <laughs> so, tabla po tayo. 79 all. Here we go. Mapua with a chance for the win. Bola na kay Cyrus Cuenco. Pagsanhan, nakatao sa kanya. 10 on the shot clock. Cuenco for three. Mapua ahead! A cold-blooded triple! Timeout EAC! Ang tanong natin, Bo, kanino pupunta yung Mapua? Who did Coach Randy Alcantara draw the play up to? Kanina, it was for Clint Scamis. Kaya lang doon sa free, after free throws by Jacob, kinuha nito ni Cyrus Cuenco. Ang ano ko naman doon sa defender ni Cyrus, bakit umatras? Bakit siya umatras? Eh, alam mo namang may tira rin sa labas itong si Cyrus. And yun nga, umat, nung umatras itong si Jacob, tinirahan agad ni Cyrus. Eto, tira na simple ball screen on top. Umatnas ang baba ni Jacob para kay Cyrus Cuenco. Kaya naman... Ice cold. Uh-huh. Now EAC has no more timeouts, Bo. So will they go for a three or a two? Kasi wala na silang timeout dito. Baksanhan. Gortiza looks up at the clock. They will have to go for a three now. Gortiza, they have to tie for three. Short. Recto with a rebound. Mapua wins. Cyrus Cuenco with a game-winning three. And I don't mean to naibuking yung kasama ko dito, but... During the timeout, sinabi ni Bo Belga sa akin na sana kay Cuenco sila pumunta. Your in- instinct mo lang yun, Bo. Hindi, kasi last two, last three play, plays ng Mapua, they were going to Cuenco. They were running the place for Cuenco. And he's doing a better, a good job creating and looking for his teammate, looking for his shot. He even have a attempt there. Ito yung last play nila. Wala na mapuntahan doon si Oftana at si Gurtisa. ba? Diba? Pero totoo yun, guys. True story. Sabi ni Bo, sana kay Cuenco sila pumunta. That's exactly where Mapua went. And Cuenco delivering the game-winning three.